Yo, what's good, y'all? Back with another one. Just giving a little small review of the 49ers versus Cardinals yesterday. Like, it wasn't really much to talk about. We already knew the Niners are going to win by double digits. All that, all the, the only suspense in that game to me was were they going to cover the 15 point spread, which they did. But I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I'm getting more and more comfortable with Brock Purdy like each passing week because I haven't felt this comfortable with a quarterback in years. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's been years since I felt comfortable with a 49ers quarterback. I wanted it to be Trey Lance, but you know, unfortunately they didn't work out. But at the end of the day, it's all about what you do on the field. You know what I'm saying? And Brock has proven a lot of people wrong. Brock Purdy is much, much, much better than Jimmy Garoppolo. Like, at this point, it's not even fucking close. Like, how can anybody watch both of them play and make and come to the conclusion that Jimmy Garoppolo is right there with Brock Purdy? No, the fuck he ain't. Because he had weapons since 2019. Jimmy Garoppolo's had a lot of weapons. And... He still consistently made bad reads and consistently made in incomprehensible throws like where I know for a fact Kyle Shanahan wanted to choke him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he made me want to jump through the fucking TV screen to fucking choke his ass because of the way he just, like, made decisions in the pocket. Like, throwing off his back foot, not setting up his fucking... Like, just doing all types of stupid shit, yo. Like, that's the reason why I can never, like, get my, like, trust Jimmy Garoppolo since he got hurt. The, when Jimmy first came to the Niners, he was he was fantastic. But as soon as he tore his ACL, he just was never the same after 2018. But as far as Brock Purdy concerned, I love everything I'm seeing from Brock Purdy. He's not making bullheaded decisions. Like he he throws he actually throws the ball to the receivers consistently, like it ain't just to the running backs and to the tight ends. You know what I'm saying like you can tell Kyle Shanahan trust him the way he opens up the playbook, like he's actually taking deep shots. He doesn't always hit them. He's got to continue to work on that. But he was hitting them yesterday because those are always going to be there. Teams are going to give the 49ers deep shots. Brock just has to take advantage of it. But I can't, I have nothing to say about Brock Purdy, man. Like, he's playing fantastic football. Like, he's playing great football right now. He's not making mistakes, making big plays. He's getting the ball to the playmakers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have nothing to complain about. The only thing, my only issue with the Niners, I still feel like we can get better on the offensive line on the right side because I'm not a Cole McKivitz fan, but... At the end of the day, it's a salary cap league. You can't have everything. So I'd rather take that weakness over any other thing that happens. But like I said, I'm I'm loving the start to the season for the Niners because normally the Niners do not start fast whatsoever. We always start slow. It's always, we always losing games that we ain't supposed to lose. And then it comes back to bite us later in the season. Just like last year when we lost to fucking Chicago, Denver, and Atlanta. And it ended up costing us one fucking game against the Eagles. And then we had to come to Philly. But I have a feeling if everybody stays healthy, that we won't have to do that. That Philly's going to have to come to us. They're going to have to come to San Francisco. Or Dallas is going to have to come to San Francisco. Speaking of Dallas, I can't wait till next week. Cowboys and 49ers. Can't wait till that fucking game. But y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.